Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial. This time I'll be showing you how you can smoothen the skin on your filters. First, I'll show you the simple steps into adding the retouching effect. And on the second part, I'll show you how you can add it with a color line. So let's first create a blank project. Start off by adding a face mesh object to the scene panel. Rename it to retouch. Then create a material for that mesh. Double click on the material to show its properties and let's rename this to Retouch Matte. Then on the shader type, select the retouching option. Use the skin smoothing slider to increase or decrease the intensity. I personally like to keep it at around 40% but for this tutorial, let's keep it a full percentage. Now if you plan on adding a color and want to keep the smooth retouching effect, then keep on watching. So to set up your LUT, the first step is to import in your PNG color LUT image. Click Add Asset here, Import, and Color LUT. On your LUT properties, change the filtering to None. Then open up the Patch Editor panel if you haven't already by going to View, then Show Patch Editor. Drag the color LUT you've imported to the patch editor. And notice that a color LUT shader patch is automatically added. Then we want this texture section to be connected from the camera. To do this, go to the camera section here. And on the right side, click on the plus sign for the texture extraction. Drag the camera texture that's been added onto the patch editor and connect the RGBA to the texture. The last step for the LUT to be applied is by adding in a rectangle object. Move the canvas above the face tracker that you already have. Back to the rectangle, let's rename this to LUT. On the properties, make sure you fill the width and the height to resize it for the whole screen and pin it on all sides so that it will be compatible on all devices. Next, add a material by clicking on the plus icon here. Double click on it and rename it to LUT Map. Then change the shader type to flat. To use the texture for patches, click on this little arrow icon beside the texture and it will create a patch for it. Connect the LUT shader to the material for it to be applied. Now to apply the face retouch on top of the LUT, add another face mesh object to the face tracker you already have. Rename this to face LUT. Then on the right side, uncheck the eyes and the mouth because we don't need to include them for this face mesh. Then create a new material again. Double click and rename this to face LUT. Matte. On the properties, change the shader type to flat, same as our rectangle. Then check the alpha panel and change the texture to the skin smoothing texture. This will make the retouch of the borders of the face shape more blended out. Next, on the advanced render options toggle below, uncheck the use depth test and write to depth buffer. Like before, click on the little arrow icon next to the texture so that we'll be able to edit it to the patch editor. Then on your scene panel, click on the face tracker and on the right side, click the plus sign for the texture extraction. Once that's done, you can then drag the face tracker texture onto the patch editor. Then we can start assembling everything, drag in another color LUT shader and connect the RGBA arrow to the texture and the same color LUT you've used to the color LUT section. And finally, from the color LUT to the face LUT material. And as you can see, here's the before and after. Everything's done, but there's one small problem, which is that there's a small black line on the jawline. And to solve this, go back to your face LUT material, check on the alpha test, and increase the cutoff until you don't see the black line anymore. And there you have it. Once again, you can just go back to your retouching material here 
and adjust the retouch smoothness. Go ahead and subscribe and comment down below if you would like to see more tutorials for Spark AR and follow my Instagram to see and try out the filters I've already made. See you guys on my next video.